Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're gonna head right back into Elite Zoo South. Always have to think about South when I say it. Uh, but we're gonna dive right on in and hopefully see a lot of progress today. Well, I say hopefully, but the reality is I know we're gonna be seeing a lot of progress today. There is some stuff that I have to kind of mull over based on the comments I saw from last session. Some really good suggestions that have come through. Um, some great uh, ideas in particular as it regards to the, uh, or, or with regards to the, um, well, what is at present the Warthog enclosure, but might actually evolve a little bit, maybe in today's session or maybe within the next, uh, you know, session or two or so. But point being, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to check in on, there will be a time lapse today as well, the timestamp in the description and in the, you know, little, like, bar down below should uh, should give that away. We will be doing some work on the enclosure, but I think we're going to kick things off with a touch of management and just doing a very quick kind of overview of the zoo to make sure things are working all right and that we've actually solved some of the problems. Again, going into this time lapse, I want to make sure I have enough money uh, to make things work. I want to make sure that things are, uh, you know, they're, they're not as uh, precariously positioned as they seemed previously. But with that said, though, you might have noticed right off the bat, guests went from being super happy to being upset uh, basically right away. So let's go ahead and check in on that. That's that's, that's basically it. I want to make sure that our guests are uh, our guests needs are met. I want to make sure that our um, animals needs are being met. And then I want to dive into this time lapse and I want to make sure that we are, uh, you know, making <laughs> making money more consistently. Uh, so there was a couple of suggestions with on, on, with regards to this as well. Um, for one, okay, this is like not centered. Let's fix that. Uh, for one, many of y'all have been suggesting that I just make the uh, the walkway over here wider to prevent people from getting stuck. That might actually be a much larger undertaking than it seems. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, there's uh, one way to find out, and that would be to adjust this uh, walkway over here. I mean, does it get narrow again over here? If it becomes too wide over here, it might be a little bit messy. Um, you know, in dealing with how the rest of the uh, enclosure feels. So let's start with let's start with making this area wider first, and then if we have to go further with it, then we will. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and start with making this area wider first. And there's some work I want to do on the trains as well. Uh, again, there's a there's a lot of little stuff I want to. Uh, do we actually put this up over here instead? Because there is more room up over here. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and move these up over here. Um, the uh, there's a lot of little stuff I want to, uh, to 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 try and just like cap off, basically, so we never have to worry about it again. I, I feel like we're on the cusp of solving this problem once and for all. We've discovered some major issues with... I mean, again, it, it's got to be like a recent update or something. This stuff was working fine um, relatively recently, but uh, who cares what the reason is, what the cause is. What matters is that we've seen uh, where the problem lies, and now we can work towards... Uh, solving it again hopefully once and for all so let's go ahead and make the path over here a little bit wider I want to make sure that we can actually you know place the path down I might need to move some of these things away completely temporarily again um, while I make these adjustments over here because a lot of these things are sort of attached to the uh, the path uh, so I think the path will cause me trouble if I if I try to place them or if I try to edit the path while those things are nearby so yeah let's go ahead and make Oh, we've got the benches over here as well that I might... I think I need to move. Move these guys up for now. Alright. And let's go ahead and get rid of the path over here. This whole section. Let's go ahead and make it wider. This is the block path, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that is what we're using. Uh, let's go with a slightly wider path. Do I really have to go back another step over here? Maybe. To do that, we'll have to move this bin back. And again, we're, we're going to... We're going to hit play right after this path work is done. All, all the other management stuff I want to do today, we can do while uh, while we've hit play. Um, but this, I want to make sure that we uh, we deal with first. Um, this might be a bit messy, actually. Might be a touch messy. There we go. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the curve being a little different than it was before. That's not the end of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and angle snap. Let's see if that'll... No, can't angle snap yet. Gotta make this straight first. Again, now that we've added all the trees and stuff, it's a little bit harder to see as precisely. I do hope this is... 
wide enough by enough of a margin, or rather wider enough by enough of a margin. <laughs> I suppose we'll see. Let's go ahead and pop you down. Come on, where, where'd you go? Or a little too much over that way. Why, why is this obstructed? Is it the tree? Is it, hmm. It was just letting me drop this down over here, but now it's not. So let's move this tree over a little bit. See if that does the trick. Doubt it. Yeah, what's stopping you? What's stopping you, buddy? Not the barrier. The barrier is pretty far, far away. It won't be the education board. It's letting me put it down on the education board. Okay. Wouldn't be this stuff. I don't think. We can try and turn off flattened terrain. That might, nope, do the trick. Doesn't. Unling won't either. Obstructed. I wish it gave me more words than just that. I wish it gave me more than just obstructed. Let's see if I... Uh, there's lots of room over here. There's lots of room over here. Plenty of room over here. The only thing I can imagine is this thing needs to be moved around a little bit, but it won't let me, obviously. Um, can I adjust just this edge over here? No. This thing's kind of, like, trapped. If I move you up over there, then what happens? Still nothing. That can't be it. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's, uh... Nudge you over ever so slightly. I don't necessarily like that. In all honesty. Hangs over just slightly. I mean, I, I guess I could work with it. I guess I could work with it. What if I undo you? Go up over here, obstructed. Don't know. I, I don't know if this will work. Obstructed, obstructed. Height doesn't make a difference here. Great, okay. Unless I go really high up. What is causing this problem? Well, before it breaks completely, let's go ahead and do... Oops. Let's go ahead and do... This. Because this at least attaches without breaking things too much. And let's see if that's enough uh, before we go ahead and, uh, and break everything, right? Uh, let's move these over a little bit. I would say moving them over to here. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was obstructing it? No, I don't think so. Because again, it was allowing me to move the path over this way. Um, so let's see if that does the trick. Let's go ahead and nudge you over a little bit. And forward. Yeah, excellent. And let's pull you over a bit as well. So if guests are stopping to read the uh, education board, they've come over this way. Now, while they're here, this should educate them. If I can select it. If I can select it. If I can select it, if I can select it, this is amazing. Come on. Come on. Like, things like this. After I draw a box, it'll select everything behind it. There we go. Fair enough. Go ahead and get you back over here. Perfect. I might even turn its volume up a little bit. There isn't much education in the area. That should help, and it should help uh, maybe get some more money out of this enclosure as well. Maybe want to duplicate you too. Damn it. All right, let's just draw a box over here. A bit more involved than I expected it to be originally, but I, I guess I'd rather do it now than, than regret not having done it at a later time. Y you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I would rather do it now than later on regret that I didn't do it now. Is, is what I mean. Um, pop you down over here. That seems like an awkward spot. Let's put it in between these two sponsor boards. Seems like a more reasonable position for this. Not overlapping. Good education. A bit of a gap over here, but there's there's going to be gaps from time to time, obviously. You can't, like... It can't be a, a constant stream of people yelling at you information about llamas. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's that. Go ahead and see if we can't move you guys back up over here. Uneven placement. I guess the slope starts a little bit sooner. Okay. Not a problem. Again, benches. Now that the space is a bit wider, we should be okay uh, with the benches over here. But we'll check, right? We'll keep an eye out for it. Whoops. Duplicate that by mistake. My apologies. Um, we'll keep an eye out for it. And hopefully, hopefully, it will um, work. It won't uh, break everything. We'll keep our eyes out. Because, um, yeah, the... It, like okay clearly the bench is in the middle 
not a good idea. Uh, even though in theory they should work, they don't. Um, these paths being narrow, I thought, you know, I didn't think we'd see this much traffic in these areas, but I was very much wrong. Uh, one of the theories is that when there are no vendors over here, it's possible that people prefer the other path uh, because there's no reason to go this way. I guess this way must calculate to be shorter, so fair enough. Can't, uh, can't fault the game for that, obviously. Um, so let's just try and make that as convenient as possible now that we know that that's the case. Put this donation bin down over here, maybe. Again, not ideal. I would like it to be closer to this. Maybe put it... Uh, yikes, nope, not... Not an option out over here either. This whole uneven placement thing is very unfortunate because it's a it's a gradual slope. It's not letting me put it down over there. So let's let's see if it still garners us some wealth over here. And let's put the uh, bin up over. Oh, it's gonna be the same problem. Yeah, they really need to allow us to put things down on on sloped paths. Uh, let's put it down over here for now. Cool. That will hopefully again help this area out. Let's go ahead and hit play again. We'll see if it solves the problem again, unfortunately, because we, you know, fussed around with the uh, pathing. We did get rid of a bunch of the guests, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll soon enough, I'm sure, have congestion over there. Well, hopefully not. We'll have uh, traffic over there. Congestion is not what I want. I want traffic, not congestion. Uh, but down over here, let's go ahead and work on this a little bit more. I got some great suggestions with regards to what to, you know, do or what to uh, pursue. Uh, for one, I want to make sure that the prices are okay. I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, washrooms free again. Um, I think they're unnecessarily harming people's opinions, how they feel about the, the zoo. No one's talking about the price here. We're gonna need some refreshment soon. Yeah, we're going to work on that as well. Um, looks like we're getting enough people coming up this way, so the pricing must be all right. Okay, so with that done, let's go ahead and change the settings here. Uh, it's been suggested that I go with any load 20 and 45 second wait times and that should do the trick so it'll wait a little while but then it'll get moving and by the time the next train arrives uh it's already cleared out or it's about to clear out which i think is a is a reasonable approach um there have been other suggestions as well i've received suggestions about uh just checking don't block station and that way if a train comes it'll move along but i'm worried that a delay somewhere else will eventually you know cause cause that to be problematic uh, so that's that taken care of. Let's go ahead and do that across the board. Any load, 20 seconds, 45 seconds. Um, let's go ahead and get you on any load, 20 and 45. And again, I'm hoping that the other stations see some more use as well, because they're not right now. Not Well, they're, they're seeing some use, but not as much as I would like. Is 45 seconds enough time is the real question that fine balancing act right like those guys got through a little bit of a wait a little bit of a queue is not a problem right like people can wait for a little while it's not a problem charging 12 bucks for everywhere else 15 bucks over here okay uh the other thing i want to do over here is actually um add some more well okay first of all before i forget because i know i will let's remove this bin from over here it's causing some um issues with uh with pathing Go ahead and put you down maybe over here. Let's edit you a little bit as well. Nudge you down. Hold on. Nudge both of you down to here. We'll be customizing this entrance a little bit more. Uh, but that's not all I want to do. I also want to, in this area, add some vending machines. People on their way over or people who have just come off the train are going to be potentially thirsty, hungry, say farewell to Suyana. Wait, are you? Yeah, you're still alive. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Their sleep and their death looks all too similar. About to die of old age. Oh, guests are happy, so that's promising. Maybe our solutions have done the trick. And actually being being over here, we can take a quick peek. Well, actually, it's covered by trees. It says she's died. We can still see her stats over here, but one last dream, Suyana. One last dream before you pass away. As the rain pitter-patters on the leaves above you. As your ears wiggle, preparing to leave us forever. I do find it strange. I wish uh, when it says that an animal has died, it would actually, you know, let me call a vet. I don't want to miss that, so to speak. 
Yeah, we're okay over here. I still, I'll need to adjust this, uh, ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out. Not the end of the world. Don't know if I want to spend too much time on this right now. Oh, okay, you know what? It's not too much time. A couple more clicks. Just a couple more. Clicks. There we go. It, it's 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 fine for now. I want to make sure it's all working before I overcomplicate things. Um I wonder if I should move some of these things. But actually on the topic of moving things like that, let's go ahead in here. Get rid of the support structure. It might actually be because of this security camera. Let's try and get rid of the security camera first, because I like the support structure in here. It gives the space a sense of realism. Let's get rid of the security camera and instead put down the um, the one that's just like wall mounted. It'll do the same thing, right? It doesn't have the post. Maybe that'll allow some more proper movement, because guests, I mean, again, there is a, oh no, there isn't actually, this is a full circle. This shouldn't block guests' movement as much as a security camera itself does, so we'll see if that makes a difference, but before I forget, because again, I, I, I know I will, head on back down over here, get those vending machines figured out. Now what I should maybe check, thirst and hunger, and maybe even a washroom actually. Alright, let's go ahead and put those up over here. Let's try this. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, Hip shot vending machine up over here first. Let's go ahead and get a <laughs> buying fries out of a vending machine. I mean, I've seen this. I've seen hot food vending machines uh, again when I was in Japan. They have vending machines for everything. Uh, but it's just funny to put one down because before I'd seen them that time, I was very confused. <laughs> uh, what's wrong over here? Hydration is low. Are you not able to reach the water or are you just choosing not to? Um, they are very much able to reach the water. Yeah, not a problem. Got a spot over here, we got a spot over there, they just have to make their way over. Hmm. Seen a couple of them say they're thirsty. I could add a water pipe. Oh, looks like we're good. Alright. Good stuff. Back. These vending machines. We've got you, food, and... Drink. This is for when people come off. No one's coming off the train over here. Opens up, people come through. Okay, that's looking good. Money's looking really good. Uh, so food and drink, and maybe even a cosmic cow milkshake. Oh, please let me put them closer. Come on, okay. You know you want to. Okay, let's try this. Nudge you over a little bit. There, and... There, okay. So as you come off the train, you can, you know, grab some stuff over here. Uh, but then as you're going to, or coming off the train, we're going to go ahead and have a washroom over here as well as, I don't know about vending machines down over here, but washroom for sure. Is it called a toilet? Yeah, toilet block. I wasn't sure if it was called a loo or washroom or WC. Toilet block does the trick. But we can connect you over here. Now what about right underneath the station? The station's not tall enough for this. Okay, okay. Well, let's make it like an extension to the station maybe. Uh, like over here. You will not connect to the path, will you? Why would you? Why would you? Can I put you down? I assume it's not going to connect. Just the width there. The right angle connection. Nah, it's not going to... doesn't like this. Really weird, actually. It should... Oh, I guess the station is a little different. I have to put the path down first. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. We'll make this work. We'll still make this work. And I... Oh, it looks so much nicer if I could do this. Okay, not the end of the world. Yeah, it's very picky about how it wants to let me connect. Okay. Go from over here. Put you over here. Go ahead and get the... Toilet block. Yeah, okay. For you. 
Put the toilet block down over here. That's got to work. There we go. Not necessarily exactly what I wanted, but, you know, overcoming adversity is a, <laughs> is a part of something we do all the time over here. Go ahead and drop this down. Like so. Worthwhile expense, I think. They are pretty expensive. I will name it. We'll decorate it. Again, we're going to make the stations all, you know, into into a thing. So we'll, we'll have the opportunity to do that. And let's actually, you know what, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and put down some vending machines over here after all. Um, I think we can get down a... I already have a pip shot up there, so let's go ahead and get a uh, gulpy down. Over here. And let's get a hot dog squad down over here. Cool. We want to make sure that these are all in work zones. So over to the staff, over to work zones, over to center. And we want to make sure that not only are the vending machines in the work zone, but also the train station. As many of you rightfully pointed out, I did not include the train station for center. All the other ones are assigned, but this one I'd skipped out. So whoops, but we fixed that now. Look, the washroom is immediately being used. These things are also immediately being used. Let's go ahead and make sure people are visiting this every three months. Might be overdoing it, but again, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, guests are once more unhappy. Is it because of any congestion over here, or do we have proper movement? No congestion over here, so that's good. That's good. Is there another spot, or is there a negative impact spot somewhere? Do we have vandalism, perhaps? That was, uh, that slipped by us last time. No, looks like we're okay. You know what, actually? Uh, I haven't put down any... No, we have education boards and stuff over here. I don't know how the guests feel about this space, though. These common hogs couldn't be in better shape. Okay, so they're happy about that. Uh, are you getting educated over here? No, you're not. Because I don't have speakers here. Could have maybe tackled this first. There's so many uh, things going on right now to, uh, to to address. Almost certainly should have tackled this first. Let's go ahead and put you down over here. I'm going to work hog. Reduce your volume a little bit. There we go. Get the other one down over here. Well, it looks like they're stopping to get educated, maybe. I like the view of the common warthog from here. It's good. Okay, excellent. That's like the most positive review I've seen of a view. Um, hopefully they dropped some money in here to donate. All right. Cool. I should have maybe, again, checked that sooner. But what's going on here? Negative impact. What have we got? What have we got? Some litter somewhere, probably. This thing. Yeah. You know what? I was a little re resistant, and even in my response to the comments, I was like, no, it's fine over here because, you know, it gets, it's only a problem when it's damaged, which is rare, but literally, you know, in the middle of last session and now at the, you know, at the, at the middle of this session, we're seeing issues with this uh, solar panel. Only this one, though. This one's fine. This one hasn't caused us any issues. All right, let's, uh, let's give it one more try. One more try. Maybe if we visit it more often, we, we won't see any issues. Set you to six months as well. Let's set you to six months, because even this one hasn't caused any issues. Set you to six months. That maybe will do the trick. I can actually find a mechanic from the Australia section and bring them right over. Uh, where are we? Now, many of you have been suggesting that I actually remove some of our staff as a quick way to make money. Uh, I am... The reason why I'm not doing that is because uh, you're repairing your no work zone, inspecting vending machine. Uh, the reason why I'm not getting rid of anybody is because we will eventually inevitably need them. Um, and I have a lot of trained individuals that if I fire, I'm going to have to you know deal with that afterwards. I mean, if anything, I feel like I need more mechanics. And not just more mechanics, but, well, before I get to more mechanics, I should level up some of the mechanics we have. Uh, and, and not just the mechanics, in fact, I should level up a lot of the vendors we have as well who are not, uh, you know, fully trained up. Yes, it'll make them even more expensive, and yes, it'll cost our, uh, well, it's a balancing act. It'll cost more money. Like, salary-wise, sure. But they'll work more efficiently. Especially when it comes to vendors, that means that we'll be, um... Uh, that means that we'll be selling faster, you know, things like, like, there's so much. Now, some of these people do have low workloads. Uh, I wonder if I should, like, arrange their work zones and, and, and get them spread out a bit more effectively. Because, you know, meanwhile, some people have high workloads, especially in center over here. You'd expect it to be spread out more evenly. 
maybe that's something we should spend some more time with. But uh, let's go ahead and level up some of our staff. Yeah, I don't want to fire anybody because we've, you know, we've got very few people who are only level one and I never like firing people. Uh, though, honestly, some of these security guards, they all have a low workload and yet people are having their pockets picked. What is that about? What's that about, honestly? <laughs> um, I do hope this updated... Yeah, it looks like you've been repaired. I, I do hope that helps, the updated, like, repair schedule. But we'll have some issue somewhere. Let's see what it might be. And let's see if it does end up being, you know, congestion or something all over again. Um, we get these flashes of momentary hope. What is going on here? It's making you unhappy. Or is that just a visual glitch? That might just be a visual glitch. Okay, okay. Keep our eyes out for... I mean, it looks like the movement over here has eased up a lot. Looks like it's a lot more fluid now, so that's promising. No problems over here. No, well, there's nothing over here. Okay, well, what about uh, guest needs? Happiness issues are still a thing. What's the problem over here? Go ahead and... Deal with this. Who are our parents? Oh, I guess... Time to move on to a next generation. Near the Trade Center. Check our animals in here, actually. Check your fertility is very low. Check your fertility is high. Okay, so Eloc, do not uh, breed with Agascoro into the Trade Center. Let's instead get a different Eastern Brown male. There we go. Got a couple options here. Bascoro. Okay, let's go ahead and compare, I guess. To a lock. Huge variants. So I've been told inbreeding is a thing now. I've been told that, well, maybe not now, but apparently inbreeding is a thing. Is it, or is fertility just like always a huge variant for, uh, for these guys? Oh, okay, I'm not going to question it. I've been told in no uncertain terms that it is. So I'm going to uh, try and keep that in mind. It doesn't say inbreeding is about to happen though. So, you know, what, is, what does that mean? For now, let's send you to the zoo. Looks like the results could be good or could be bad. Um, we, will, we will keep an eye out for that. And I also have fighting over here for alpha status. I knew it was gonna happen because I saw the maturity notification. But again, right, this game, now it gives you a maturity notification and then it doesn't actually happen for God knows how long. Uh, are you? An adult? You are not. Joyo is our new adult. So Joyo, let's go ahead and send you to the Trade Center. Or we could actually, you know what, let's go ahead and release you to the wild. I received a comment which um, uh, I don't disagree with uh, at all. It was that I, I do a lot of uh, Trade Center stuff, but I almost rarely release animals to the wild anymore. Uh, very accurate, very good point. I have, you know what, like 100%, you hit the nail on the head. I have been not releasing animals to the wild as often as I used to, especially with Litsu North. And, uh, you know, part of the logic there is, oh, well, you know, if we give it to another zoo, then it helps other zoos with the conservation effort. Um, but I can't do that with everything, right? I have to find a sweet middle ground. On the topic of middle grounds, let's deal with this middle stop, maybe. This is good. This is good. Promising. Let's take a quick look at our finances first. Okay, promising. Very promising, actually. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, main station of the main circuit and split it into two. And then I think we can hop into our time lapse. Um, put you down. Edit track. Surely someone's going to be upset about that, but what are you going to do? Let's... Hmm, how do I want to go about this, actually? Do this. I would put these on the ground, actually. I think, uh, you know what, we could actually make that look pretty good, I think. I think we can make that look pretty good. Well, actually, hold on a second, no. No, 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 no. I like them over top of our stores here, is the thing. The problem becomes getting people up and down. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to balance kind of both once. But before we deal with this, Nahuatl is about to pass away. She has been with us for a very long time. And she has 
served this zoo very well. Her genetics will live on forever. Oh, she's going for one last swim. It says she's dead. She's very much not dead, I can assure you. But we have seen animals die while in the water before. He's still very much alive. Oh, look at the little baby. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. Oh no, the last baby we got was, uh... It wasn't inbreeding, was it? God damn it was. Oh man. Maybe I missed the warning. Aquila is about to have offspring. I knew that was gonna happen. I'm so glad I stayed here for it. Well, kind of a weird... <laughs> oh my god. That's dark, man. All the vet. Uh, okay, well, that, um... A bit of a downer. A bit of a downer. But, uh, not the end of the world, I suppose. Still adorable. Still adorable. Um, okay, vets arrived right away. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I have, if I'm not mistaken, in the trade center, a beard's tape here already. I remember for the life of me if it is, yeah, it is a female. Compare mates. This might be inbreeding. It will be. Okay. So in that case, let's go ahead and move. Well, let's go ahead and get you coming in here because you're gold rated. And let's go ahead and get you released to the wild, I think. Yep. Released to the wild. You get us. Okay, sure. Yeah, fair enough. Take it. Um, unfortunate circumstance over here now. Uh, Ixquiname is also female, or Ishquiname, I guess. Uh, also female, so a little unfortunate um, that we have our like gold-rated female, and then we don't have a... Well, I guess it would have been inbreeding anyway. We'd have to bring in a male anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got the conservation credits for it. Let's try and find ourselves a very high-quality um, male beard's tape here, so we can not have another, you know, generation after generation of... Oof, 10,000? Not a chance. We need a male, right? Go ahead and get that filter going. <laughs> really? It's like one or the other? Sure, I'd rather these. Again, not not the quality I was looking for, but it's not bad either. Uh, let's go ahead and move you to the quarantine first. Quarantine small, yep. Well, that's happening. Uh, as that's happening, let's go ahead and find our little baby warthogs. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so cute. They always look like they have high heels on, by the way. Like those really high, high heels, just because of the way the hoof is. Hooves are. So, okay genetics. Not the greatest, but not not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, they're so cute. I've always, honestly, like, baby pigs and stuff are super cute. Oh, look at those ear wiggles. Oh, you are a cutie, aren't you? Alright, well, that's that's great. You're gonna have a much nicer habitat shortly, if you're not, and some more friends as well, uh, which is something I will touch on in a moment as well. How are these trains looking? They're coming through. There's some people coming through again. I, I, I expect more traffic as this area gets busier, um, which is a part of today's plans. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Here's what I want to try and do up over here. Here's what I want to try and do up over here. I want to try and get up here okay uh, I want to try and get you cross like so angle snap should yep do this don't know if that's exactly straight looks like it is get rid of you and I don't know if this is gonna work this is an experiment right the whole thing is an experiment why is there a donation bin up over here? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> oh, right, right, because there was there was a theory, a running theory, that uh, people will donate to, um... People will donate if they've enjoyed the ride and, and stuff like that. Um, no, I just want you to go straight down, straight down the middle. Not allowed, eh? Okay. Straight down the middle. This is another... Another thing with this game. Okay, let's do it this way then. Alright. And go straight down now, yep. If we can't go in the tunnel there. 
rotate it over here instead. To do. Nope. Nope. Okay. This, uh, it wants to connect to something up here, I guess. What's it trying to connect to? What are you doing, game? What do you want from me? Like, I've got the angle snap on, but it doesn't want to actually do a 90 degree turn over here. Okay, weird. I do that. Okay, sure. Tunneling, I guess, was the trick. And I connect you. I mean, this was a challenge previously as well, so I'm not surprised it's still being a challenge. These guests are getting stuck over here because of the tree, I'm assuming. I like this tree. Hadn't caused a problem before. Causing one now, though. Got pickpocketed. Okay, I'll have to pay attention to that as well. It, this might just be because uh, the path that was over here is now gone, and it's causing some confusion. It's possible that that's the reason. Okay, let's back this up a bit more. Just let me put this down over here. Thank you. Tunneling was, in fact, the issue. And again, we'll, we'll, we'll beautify this afterwards. Can you... no? Okay. About... no? Okay. About... this. Might need to get rid of this tree just so I can see clearly. Use the length a little bit. Okay. Move the tree. Animals with low welfare. Quarantine passed with you. Titan Town is where we have uh, low welfare, so let's go ahead and move you down over here. Watch your mama's garden. Take a look at you guys. Okay, there we go. You have some low welfare as well. Social health, I'm guessing. What's the problem here? Yep. Surprised. Port that out. Okay. Um really want to try and figure this out because I feel like it'll make a big difference to a lot of stuff and I want to see if it works as well again like, what are you stuck on now <laughs> this is what I mean it's like something is up with the pathfinding in this game right now is it the bench in the middle gone nope still stuck come on I believe in you I believe you can do this I have faith I have faith These guys don't want to... Okay. Okay, flatten terrain. I don't think this is going to work for me. don't think this is going to work for me. Because, yeah, this area becomes too, too tightly packed. Hmm... Did I go even further back last time? I guess I must have. Guess I must have. Go ahead and do that. It's like, I always start this thing being like, oh, it'll be quick. And then I get into it and it's like, okay, well, th this this wasn't quick at all. I should have time-lapsed this. <laughs> maybe, maybe I will just make this a part of the time-lapse. It's getting kind of... Silly. Come on, there we go. Fine, I'll take this. I'll looks terrible. Like this section over here, I just don't don't like that at all. That just looks horrible. Can't settle for mediocrity. Can't start doing that now. The stairs. Back. Okay. Up and up and flat. There. Wow. 
And watch this one even work. Watch this one even work. For, for what I needed to do. It might not, actually. No joke. It might not. Because what I want is, I want to get entrance on this one. Which one are you? Which one are you? This one? Yeah. Exit over here. Entrance over here. Get the queue. Like so. Hoping it's not going to be long queues. If it is, we can push this further back. I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Do this kind of a thing. Um, so that's a shuttle up to here. And then this track. Edit. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, don't tell me. Even though I've split it, it sees it as one thing. That's annoying. Okay, let's see if I can't uh, wreck that somehow. Doubt it. But let's see. How would I do this? Um, I could try and establish a new ride up over here. That uh, monorail. Up over here. Not gonna want to, is it? Oh no, there we go, okay. Gotta line you up so it's the same height. Okay. Pull you over to here. Try and make it like... Try and make it look somewhat like symmetrical-ish, right? It can't go too deep in there. Fair enough. Pull you up over here. And I... Cannot connect you to this. Okay. Guess I do need to rebuild it. Alright. Okay. like to move this though. Just gotta nudge it over slightly so it lines up properly. Like so, I think. Might even need a little bit of rotating. Not sure. That might be fine. Okay. We got this, we got this. I'm uh I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm happy with where this is going. Yeah, you know what? I think it needs to go a little bit further up though. You know what? Okay, let's best way to check. Yeah, it does need some rotating. Ever so slightly. There we go. As far as we can. It's up to here. Fine by me. Pop you down there. We'll work on that in a moment. Over here, I want to adjust you as well. Um, hmm. Do I? <laughs> Do I want to pop this over this way? Not really. I can't nudge just this thing over, unfortunately. I have to like do a lot of deleting and moving. I don't wanna you know, I don't wanna do that. Um we'll we'll make it look symmetrical from below. We'll have to. Uh, over here though, okay, this is where it gets uh, interesting. Where it gets interesting. We're gonna go ahead and place the entrance over here. And the exit over here. And our path is going to continue up top here. I don't necessarily want it to be too big and chunky, but it might have to be. Roughly down the middle. Again, we're going to make it look using construction pieces like it is a, uh, you know, like a proper, um, like a proper building and it's all symmetrical and it's all flooring up over here. But that's that's when we do a maybe a beauty pass or something. Um let's see, can we No, let's go ahead and do maybe align to grid. I don't want to go too far out over here is the thing. Just trying to find that sweet 
middle ground, I guess you could say. This, no, sorry, do that, do this. More like that. Do this. Don't necessarily like that either. It might be what I have to do. And again, we're going to be covering this up, right? So, not the end of the world. Let's try six meters here. Okay, 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 get in there. Sure. I'm glad we're going to be covering this up. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I'm glad we're going to be covering this up. Uh, and let's go ahead and get the uh, the Q over here. Uh, could be a little bit neater. I'll take what I can get. Cool. Okay. So yeah, guests will come up this ramp over here, and they'll either go over that way to go that way, or they'll come up over here to go this way. Right, depending on like the shuttle coming back and forth. Uh, in theory, that works. Again, a bit of asymmetry, but it's not the end of the world. I think we can make this look quite nice, actually. Um, guests are still struggling with the path over here for some reason, and I just don't know what it's about. But you can see happiness is more or less secured, it seems. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on this. And then we can dive into our time lapse. I really want to get to that. Um, so. Pull you forward here. Going to kind of use the existing track as our... Uh, barometer, I suppose, or our, our, our measuring stick. I wish I could just attach, you know? I wish I could just attach, but can't. All right, pull you down. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not going to try and trace that, uh, that track. I'm going to end up hating myself if I try. Um, that's good. Just start straightening up a little bit. Yep, just a touch. There we go. It's more about um, lining up with the... Uh, the other station over here. I don't want to have to adjust that too much. Okay, there we go. Oh, pull in a bit more. Uh, might even want to pull this in a bit more. Up, oh, there we go. Just nudge it ever so slightly. Yep, it'll let me. Good stuff. Can we go a bit higher? We can indeed. Okay. Flatten you down now. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 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 Oh, watch it not work now. Watch it not work over here. Again, knowing my luck. Hey, okay, pop you down over here. You, meanwhile. Edit track. Okay, that's that all done. Good stuff, it's just two of you. What's wrong with you? Why can't you open? Are you... One, oh, you are. Problem. Why does one more issues? How do I set... How do I set you to be shuttle mode? You are shuttle mode. Ride is untested, it says. Okay, we'll 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 look at well, okay, let's <sighs> We'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> we'll deal with that in a second. Let's deal with this first. Let's deal with this first. Edit the track here. And let's go ahead and get the station entrance and exit on the right side. Not all the way over there, thank you. Um, never quite understood. Like, now it's showing at the end of that, but here it's showing at the beginning. I just... Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I had everything nicely lined up, and then you have to come in at the end here. I just, I don't understand this game. <laughs> I don't get it. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we could move a little bit further. We don't need it to be a massive station. We don't need it to be a massive station. 
What do I want out of you? Exit's gonna be over here. Maybe let's uh try something like this. Use this opportunity, why not? Go ahead and shrink this. Spin you around. Like so. Okay, and see if that works. Pathing issue. We can fix though. I mean, the reason why I like this is because it ends up uh, overhead like this. Feels a bit more like lined up. Feels a bit more intentional, I suppose is the way to put it. Uh, okay, we'll get back to that. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Edit track. Both on the right side. Yeah, like I like that. And I can expand it all the way. Well, part of the way at least. Obstructed right at the end over here. If that's done. If I place entrance over here. It will queue up. Place the exit over here, maybe. Maybe. Nope. It's the exit over here. Go ahead with the Q. Again, we can go out that way if we want to, I think. That's not right. Oh, come on. Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but... There's something up between my recording software and uh, Planet Zoo, because it crashed again, and I lost, I don't know, 20 minutes of footage or something. Now, maybe like 10, 15, anyway, annoying. But I solved a lot of problems. Um, again, I'm glad I caught that the crash happened, because otherwise, who knows, might have missed out on a lot more. But uh, we managed to connect the uh, Australia um, uh, stop over here. Uh, we renamed them. I I can't remember what is and isn't in the in in the footage already off the top of my head. But we renamed them to circuit right and uh, circuit left. Um, again, feel free to drop you know more impressive and more interesting name suggestions in the comments down below. Uh, and we've also seen well, there was a lot of struggling with getting it to work uh, on this side as well. But uh, it, it's working now. Um, but nonetheless, it, it it's all working now. But unfortunately, maybe it's working a little too well as there are you know fairly large lineups. For these, I mean, quite a few guests are even complaining about um, the the lineups being full for, for both of them. It's uh, it's not um, I don't know. It's 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 not ideal, obviously. But at the same time, it's like these guys aren't super unhappy. They're still going over to wherever they wanted to go to. Um, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong guest. Ugh, I just where, where are you? I can see that complaining about the path. We got some litter up over here, of course. The moment you put... You, the, it's just like, give me a second, folks, to put down some stuff before you start littering everywhere. It takes them no time to start littering. And I can't even put the bins down up over here because of uneven place... I just, can't sometimes. Uh, honestly, I just can't sometimes. Um. Anyway, uh, I've got... There, there, there were guests who were complaining about not being able to get on either. Uh, honestly, it's... Uh, not the worst problem to have. We'll need to figure it out. As long as they remain happy overall, it's not the end of the world. Um, there's not much I can do. These are both set to max speed. Uh, yeah, they're both set to max speed. They are, you know, they they start and end where I need them to start and end. It's kind of frustrating, actually, to see the guests are lining up over here rather than up over here and taking the train over. But I guess this is closer, so it is what it is. Um, nonetheless, we'll, 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 we'll deal with this in due time. Um, I guess that's that. I'm, I'm trying to remember everything that got lost. Need to figure out why. It, and it's Planet Zoo specifically. Nothing else is having these crashes. It's Planet Zoo specifically. Anyway, that's, uh, that's enough about that. I think I've talked about everything that you've missed. I mean, I, I put down some more vending machines here. I don't know if that was, uh, if that got 
dropped in the recording and I did mention and I want to mention again if I am repeating myself then it's something worth celebrating guests have been happy throughout this entire process oh I guess you didn't you, you wouldn't have seen because a lot of it was yeah we got lost um, but throughout the entire arduous process of getting this all set up and running guests have stayed at maximum happiness um, and money has been on the rise uh, very consistently so you know it's all it's all looking looking good right now I don't want to jinx it but things are looking pretty good right now Though obviously this beauty pass is going to eat into some of our profits for the year thus far uh, I feel a little bit more comfortable at least um, you know spending that money folks with that said let's spend that money it's time lapse time all right folks I've got some unfortunate news about this time lapse um uh, it's a good time. It's, I'm very happy with the end results. That's the most important thing, I think. Very happy with the end results. However, partway through the recording of the time lapse, for some reason, my recording software once again crashed. It's something that's only happening with Planet Zoo, and I really need to figure this out. But it crashed partway through. Uh, I, I noticed it, fortunately, but I only noticed it after a fair bit of work happened. Uh, so this time lapse does end up being shorter than usual. Even though, ironically, uh, the actual work itself was for longer than usual. Um, so a bit of a bummer. It's, 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 just, it, it's unfortunate. Um, and I apologize because I know for many of you, the time lapses are like your favorite part. Um, so it is, it is a bit of a bummer. I'm pretty bummed out about that as well, actually, because you're going to miss out on a lot of the exploration and stuff I did uh, in this space outside, you know, in this little like curved space over here, this little nook. But... Um, I guess it is what it is. I'm going to try and solve this problem and figure out what's going on so we don't have to, uh, we, we don't have to worry about it anymore moving forward. Uh, I'm glad I caught it when I did at the very least because otherwise this time lapse would be, uh, even shorter. But, uh, but no, there's, there's some meat. And again, I think what matters most is that the end result, uh, I'm actually very happy with. Uh, what we're going to work on today is this sort of exterior space. The, um, enclosure itself I'm going to be doing a lot of work on there's a lot for me to consider and I will touch on those details uh, after the time lapse so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for future party elite but uh, at present we're working on this like exterior space and and also the 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 interior but like it's not inside the enclosure it's the viewing gallery if you will and I'm inspired by the uh, well it's an indigenous tribe uh, in and around modern day Kenya uh, I don't know if they're only in modern day Kenya. They, I, I think it's also a little bit outside of like the you know like modern borders and whatnot. Um, but uh, they are the uh, the Maasai, Maasai, the Maasai. I'm not 100% sure how to say it. It's got a double A in there that throws me off every time. Um, but I was looking at uh, I was looking for inspiration again. I was looking for ways to uh, approach things uh, that we can you know explore some new ideas, some new aesthetics, some new. Um, just uh, just things that we don't typically see associated with you know whatever area or region we're we're, we're trying to focus on like I've done with every other place and uh, I actually saw a very interesting uh, set of images when it comes to their uh, housing structure they have uh, a shape that I've not really seen that often before uh, using like mud they create fairly curvy um, walls and a foundation and uh, and typically it's built with mud, uh, but oftentimes it's it's also got um, like wooden poles or sticks, if you will, supporting the the wall structure. Uh, so so that's I, I guess that's a, that's somewhat standard. But it, it's very curvy, which was and I've not really seen that. I, I've seen either circles, like full-on cylinders, or I've seen like boxy constructs or or boxy constructs that are you know like they have curves by mistake. These things were like intentionally rounded, um, rounded rectangles, if you were to look at them from the top down. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And they also do something very interesting with the entrance, uh, which I try to recreate here, but unfortunately the footage is lost. I do believe I talk about it a little bit after the time lapse, but uh, the entrance has like, it's like, it's an open, there's no door, it's just an opening. And the front is like curved, like the wall like curves in and you enter not like straight into the building, but into the side of the building. And you do like a U-turn to end up in the house. It's, you have to look it up. Um, it's very different from anything I've ever seen. So I tried to recreate that a bit. Um, but as you can see, as I was recreating that on that side there, boom, big jump cut. That's 
all the exploration you missed. Me messing around with all kinds of plants, me planning out the uh, execution over here. I mean, there's other stuff you missed as well in terms of the walls and stuff I was working on. I, again, I'm really sorry, folks. I don't know why... I don't know why it's happening, but uh, but it is happening. We, we, we shall persevere. We shall overcome. Uh, we will solve this problem like we solve all other problems. Um, but yeah, so I've created this little garden space. I've changed the pathing so people can actually come up over here. I'm going to put down some benches so people can sit down on those benches and enjoy this garden space. This really lush garden space that I think brings life to the area. Uh, but unfortunately, this was, I mean, there was so much time spent on this that uh, I had to call it a time lapse over here. Otherwise, this Let's Play episode wouldn't release today. Uh, so that's it for the time lapse, folks. But Future Party Elite will tell you a little bit more about what went down. I hope you all liked it. And again, I'm sorry. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and uh, I must apologize about the shortness of it. Unfortunately, the game decided to crash. Well, not the game, but rather uh, my recording software once again decided to crash uh, in the middle of that time lapse. And I, I mean, I caught it relatively um, soon after it happened. Well, not soon enough. It, it ate up a huge chunk of our time lapse, as you can probably tell because you can see the end result at the very least. I'm really not sure what's going on. I have to look into it. Uh, Planet Zoo is the only game where I'm seeing any uh, issue. Um, it's only been like this week and last week. It might be because of a driver update that happened recently. I'll look into it because it's obviously very clearly getting in the way of uh, you know, recording this series properly. It hasn't been that often. It's only been, you know, like once or twice now, but I want to make sure it doesn't become a a constant um that would be concerning but don't worry about it nothing to worry about just yet if there ever is anything to worry about i will uh, i will let you know candidly but um you just got to keep an eye out for when it crashes i suppose nonetheless uh, just to touch on what i guess or rather to, to slowly go over what you missed um in in, in again that time frame that got uh, lost uh, we did a lot of vegetation work over here, and I'm sure I, I touched on the time lapse, what the overall plan was with regards to this. I mean, what I might actually, hmm, now that I look at it, now that I look at it uh, without, you know, without uh, without panic, <laughs> I think I might do a little bit more work over here. Just like, uh, I don't know if I want to do a concrete barrier, or if I want to do something else just to separate the, uh, the, the, the path from the you know, like garden space, if you will, like from where all the plants are. Like, I don't know if I want to build a planter type thing over here, or if I just wanted to kind of naturally transition into the uh, soil. We could also make this, um, you know, this kind of path where it's actually just the ground below it. Ooh, looks like some of this stuff is peeking through. I was pretty thorough about checking at first and then a little overconfident with some of this uh, elephant grass, especially. We'll have to do a little bit of adjusting over here to make sure it doesn't peek through. Might actually add another layer of walls inside even. But um, I think that's, that'll all be stuff that we take care of in the uh, the next uh, time lapse we do in this area. Um, if I can't I do something like this instead, yeah, something like that, maybe. Uh, but but anyways, yeah, it's uh, I will probably be doubling up the walls over here as well, just to make sure that there's no um, the stuff poking out like this on the interior side. Looks kind of funny actually, like little growths. Uh, Going to be adding some more decorative elements on the in inner side as well. Um, but this uh, this this time lapse ended up focusing on the uh, the exterior element over here and all the vegetation and stuff. And I'm quite happy for it. It definitely brings the space to life. Um, so let me just fix this before I. What is which 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 what are you? Which which one are you? Why are you? Hit boxes, man. Oh my god. Now the camera zooming out like that. I don't think this is the piece. It is. Oh, you know what? I think it's the flowers. That I'll have a. There we go. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna have any luck picking them, but there we go. Get it? Picking the flowers. Uh, anyway, um, that's fixed. So the uh, yeah, the time lapse ended up focusing on this uh, exterior area uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, I wanted to get this area done. I feel like it really adds to uh, to the zoo, like to the to the Africa section. It just again, the space starts to feel a bit more alive. Um, and, and but you know, again, <laughs> the enclosure itself still looks uh, pretty barren. Um, part of the reason for that, and I don't know if I touched on this in the time lapse, and if I if I don't or if I didn't, I guess I just want to touch on it now because it was something I mentioned before the time lapse, but got lost because of the crash. Again, it's becoming so like hard to keep a track of stuff. So I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But um, uh, 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 the, the main reason, the primary reason, 
uh, that I didn't, um, as much as I wanted to work on this and, 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 you know, make, make this look so much nicer. I think it looks so much nicer as much as that was a big part of it. Uh, I also didn't want to spend too much time on this space because there was a lot of conversation in the comments about, uh, expanding this to be more than just for warthogs. The suggestions, yeah, because you see, I've got like the page open and everything because I had, had I've had this conversation. Uh, it turns out it was just with myself. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of interspecies animal options for warthogs, and I spoke uh, last session about not doing that, just keeping this for warthogs. But it was pointed out that it'd be a good idea to maybe mix something in because warthogs themselves aren't that interesting. But if you take two not so interesting animals together, uh, then it might actually compel guests to. Uh, to check the space out, which is a very fair point, uh, makes sense to me. Um, but there were a few sort of variant suggestions as to what we should chase after. Now, some of y'all said the common ostrich is not a bad idea, but many of you said that having the ostrich and the warthog in the same space often leads to them starving, um, which is a problem. Uh, the giraffe I was told not to do for a space like this, I should perhaps do the antelope, springbok, or gazelle. Those were like the top recommends for this area and i'm totally i'm totally on board I, I like the like the logic makes sense the theory makes sense um and i'm on board with making this a mixed enclosure with just two animals like i thought i got that suggestion a lot as well it's like oh just do a couple of two animal enclosures rather than one that has five um and that way it's easier for our keepers to manage it as well apparently you know three plus animals in one enclosure keepers have a hard time managing so that's good to know as well uh, but the big question that comes out of it is a which animal there are two big questions that come out of it a which animal and b um how do we go about utilizing this space again part of my plan was to have like a giant gorge over here um you know make make a really cool just like space of vegetation and and probably some waterfalls because i'm me uh, but but do something over here uh just to have a green space right um the other option was to have the path over here extend over and add some more animals in the area uh over here um because again we have this lineup over here where we're going to do the um like there's gonna be a riverboat ride and i've got some animal plans up down over here up over here up over here over here i've got i've got plans for animals in this sort of outside the train tracks i should say i've got some plans um but it's about inside the train tracks where we would if we were to expand this enclosure that's where it would go so you know for me it becomes like okay well what am i what am i doing then am i expanding this enclosure am i making it a part of the safari how does the safari build into all of this does the safari go over the train tracks at one point um does that make sense for the safari is this area excluded from the safari i was talking for the longest time about making the safari you know on this side is the safari just an extra thing that we do like do we put in all the animals over here a bunch of animals over here a bunch of animals over here and then a safari that doubles up the animals I'm, I'm concerned about the safari to begin with i'm worried that people are going to complain about bad views people are going to complain about being hungry, being thirsty, all kinds of stuff. I'm really concerned about that to begin with. Um, so it's just like all that's kind of layering on. And I think I'm pretty nervous. I'll be honest. I'm pretty nervous about how the Africa uh, spaces are going to work out as a result. Because uh, if we put too much weight on that safari and it doesn't work, then all progress we made today can be out the window, right? Uh, but I, I digress. I think the, uh, the the main thing I want to focus on right now is, yes, how do I... What, what should I... What... what which animal and do I want to expand this? Do I want to make this like a nice, you know, running area? Um, if yes, if we decide to make this a bigger enclosure uh, to, to have some room for like a gazelle or something to run around, it's already a pretty big space. But if I do that, will guests complain about bad views? Uh, I could add a path that goes along this way to give more views. I could add a whole food court over here as well. Um, you know, so guests are able to eat, you know, use the washroom, drink, all that kind of stuff. Um, and we could like loop it back, I suppose. So like they would, they would go out, they would see these animals and come back over here. But if I'm doing that, do I just want to add more animals? It just feels like this area, like it's going to be, it's going to be a, a step contradicting the, um, the safari plan. And, 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 and that's causing a lot of hesitation for me. That's causing a lot of, uh, I guess, concern for me of like how I want to push this forward. Anyways, I sound like a broken record and I apologize for that. I don't mean to, uh, but you can see that they can, you can tell there's a lot going on in my head right now, uh, which is why I didn't want to tackle this 
without um, without first getting some of that stuff organized. Uh, but we did have some work we could do just outside of the enclosure. I don't know if you want to call it a part of the enclosure, but you know, it, it does make a big impact to the space. So I'm still happy with the time lapse and, and what we focused on today. Um, and fortunately, now I'll have a couple of days over the next you know couple of days of uh, of no planet zoo until the next session. Still on schedule. Don't no no cause for alarm. Still on schedule, but you know this is the gap between episodes. It'll give me time to read through all your comments as I always do, but also to think, just internalize and, and really kind of think about this situation because I am uh, not sure, frankly, uh, how I want to tackle this. How I want to tackle this. Yeah. Again, the other thing was like have a wing animal over here, have animals over here, have animals over here. Uh, one thing that's been suggested is to like use these enclosures as like breeding grounds and then once those younger animals reach adulthood, send them out into the, uh, you know, bigger safari area. At least the ones that are able to overlap. That's the other option as well. Anyway, lots to think about, folks. Lots on my mind. I do apologize for some of the editing that had to happen this session because of the crashes, but it's kind of out of my hands. I will look into it to see uh, what we can do about it. But fortunately, at least we can see all the end results. Money is looking good. Guests have been happy for a very long time. We are seeing maybe a little bit of overuse over here than expected. Uh... We're going to have to figure out what to do about that. If it becomes a problem, we're going to have to figure out what to do about that. With that said, though, I'm really excited to build the station over here. I think it's going to be super cool. I have something in my mind. I just have to get around to actually executing it. But folks, I mean, that's all for another time. Not sure what next session's focus is going to be, but uh, that's all for this session. Again, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and... How I go about doing it. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.